everyone. It's been a while since our last update on the ban of the semi-auto rifles. Okay, the ban is supposed to be lifted. Unfortunately, uh, the arrival of the memo from the PNP FEO to the gun stores is taking an eternity and a day. So. We're going to talk about something else, a very disturbing uh, development, actually. And that is the insanely jacked up prices of semi-auto rifles. For the last couple of months, a lot of gun stores, actually, and some certain gun tubers have worked very hard to hype up the prices of semi-auto rifles. And some gun stores have increasingly jacked up their prices to the point of what I would like to think is definitely price gouging. And they're really taking advantage of gun owners. They are really jacking up the prices because of the hype that was created by the lifting of the ban and the built-up demand. So to talk about this, we need to discuss the inflation, okay? Because in order for us to, uh, to discuss this issue, it's important for us to understand first that I am not against the, increase, uh, the increasing of prices. Businesses have to increase prices to keep up with inflation because if they don't, they will stop being profitable. And if they stop being profitable, they will close down. They will lose money. They will close down. And a lot of people are going to be unemployed. So it is reasonable to expect certain price increases on all goods and services. However, if the price increases are just like the ones that we are seeing for semi-auto rifles, then we have to really wonder if there is a cartel that's jacking up the prices. A cartel of uh, gun stores, for example, and even gun tubers here who are working very hard to increase the prices to unreasonable levels. So in order for us to discuss this issue, let's look over here at the Philippine inflation. As you can see, inflation has been this much from 2017 to 2022, some years being 5.82%, some years being 2.85%. So the total of that is 22.69%. Now, it's important to understand that if a semi-auto rifle price increase is to be considered reasonable, it should stay around this number, okay? It should stay around that number or a little higher or a little above that number because of different other, you know, increase in costs of other things such as labor and things like that. However, the ones that we are seeing here right now, guys, if we're going to look at this example over here of the uh, Norinco CQA, the costs have now increased. And we're going to talk about it not in real world prices because YouTube doesn't like talking about firearms prices. So instead, we're going to use a fictional currency. Okay, we're going to talk about it in Blue Eagles. All right, so as we can see over here, uh, the Norinco CQA back in January 2023, for example, costs... 68 blue eagles now in the uh upon near the lifting of the ban and the issuance of the pnp fe of the ban being lifted to gun stores the cost has now increased to 90 blue eagles all right and that means a 32.35 percent increase now the Norinco CQA over here, for example, what we're seeing over here is a reasonable price increase, somewhat reasonable because it's close to the total inflation since, since 2017. You really couldn't buy these. And because you couldn't buy these since 2017, it's only reasonable for the price to go up proportional to the inflation over the seven years that they couldn't be sold. So 32% is 10% above the, uh, the total inflation we've had for the last seven years. So it's still somewhat uh, close to realistic, the increase in cost. However, the cartel, it seems, has jacked up the prices of a lot of firearms price, uh, a lot of firearms to unreasonable levels. And if you look over here at the CZ858, for example, 
uh, just a couple of months ago, and I would know because I've been asking the gun store selling this how much it costs. The price has become has turned from seventy eight point five blue eagles. And now it's 125 blue eagles. The increase of 59.234%. That's crazy. That's double, beyond double the price of inflation for the last seven years. The accumulated inflation. And some firearms have gone crazy high in price. For example, I have asked some gun stores. Some of you, our valuable community members of the philippine ricochet line have commented and messaged me in private that the prices before were around 57 blue eagles and now because of the lifting of this ban and because some gun tubers have been jacking up the price of the taurus t4 the price has now become 105 blue eagles for uh, some gun stores i have checked okay 105 blue eagles that is an increase of 84.21 percent that is insane that is very abusive that is price gouging from the cartel that is price gouging from some of these gun stores now guys you have to understand that if you see behavior like this coming from gun stores, please do not reward them with your business. Because if you buy from these gun stores, if you buy these rifles, a lot of them, like for example, the Taurus T4 being an entry-level AR, for example, if you buy them for this price, then you are contributing to the problem. I know for a fact that if somebody jacks up prices to these levels, I will not buy from them. I will not buy from them because I don't want my gun stores to be price gouging. I don't want my gun stores to be taking advantage of the built-up demand over the last seven years for semi-auto rifles. I don't want them to be asking for more and more and more of my hard-earned money for the same thing. Now, I understand that they have to stay in business and they have to stay profitable so they can increase prices. But when you are increasing your prices by up to as much as 84.21%, then I'm sorry, but I don't want to do business with you. And if you support this kind of business, folks, if you buy from these gun stores who are jacking up prices like crazy, and a lot of these gun stores didn't lift a finger to... Uh, do something about the semi-auto rifle ban and you're going to reward them with your hard more more and more and more of your hard-earned money for the same thing then i'm i have to say that you are part of the problem so if you are principled and you want to help out folks please 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 do not buy rifles that have from gun stores that have jacked up prices like crazy there are a lot of gun stores that have maintained their prices over the years and didn't increase it by one bit or have only increased it by a price that is much lower than, for example, the Norinco CQA. Let us reward these gun stores because these are the ones who are helping us out. They are the ones who are working very hard to keep us gun owners happy and giving us the most for our money. And if you support gun stores that jack up prices like this, as I said before, you are part of the problem. I will make a video that will mention some of these gun stores who have maintained their prices. And I will make a video that talks about the best semi-auto rifle options. And I am really, really, uh, uh, I'm going to have to just say that I will exclude a lot of these rifles with jacked up prices because as good as they are for example like the cz858 i've always wanted to own one of these for a very long time but if the prices are gonna go up like this then i just don't think i will buy it anymore because frankly i have better things to do with my hard-earned money and there are other gun stores out there uh, offering their wares at a much lower price than this so guys, 
Thank you for watching this uh, short video. I hope you learned something today. And I just wanted to let you know that please let us be responsible gun owners. Let us do everything that we can to support the business. But let us also make sure to reward the businesses that have our interests in their heart. And let us not reward businesses that are taking advantage of the situation and taking advantage of you and me. Okay? Please work with me on this one. And let's please work together to bring down the prices of semi-auto rifles. Because if we allow this kind of behavior, you and I are going to suffer for it. They are going to increase the prices more and more and more. And they will increase prices on ammunition as well. And they will make it so that in the future, the prices are going to keep going up. And our children, okay, your children will suffer for this. Because when it's their turn to become a gun owner, when they want to buy their first semi-auto rifle, the prices are going to be insane. If you think this is bad... If you let them get away with this, it's going to be worse in the future. And again, I would also like to take this moment to give a round of applause and my heartfelt thanks to all the gun stores who didn't raise their prices. You guys are amazing. You are awesome. You know who you are. And I totally support your business. And I will probably, and I know, who, I know some of you, and I will probably buy from you my next firearm okay because thank you for being such a bro in these difficult times when other gun stores are taking advantage of us gun owners with limited budgets so thank you very much for being such a bro and to those who have increased their prices like crazy shame on you shame on you for taking advantage of the lifting of the ban and for taking advantage of us gun owners of the Taking advantage of the built-up hype over the last seven years. I understand that you have to stay profitable. But if you, this is the way that you're going to take advantage of this ban lifting. With many of you not having done a thing to lift the ban. Then I think that I will take my business elsewhere. So there you go guys. Just a short video update from me. And if you like this content, please consider like liking this video sharing this video and to some of you who have the budget to spare i have a buy me a coffee link thank you very much to all those who have contributed and thank you to everybody else who has for example liked this video and shared it with their friends i hope that these numbers that i have shown you here have given you more information on the kind of rifles that you should be uh looking at right now and which gun stores you should be supporting with your business. Of course, I'm not telling you where to get your rifles, but um, if you get them from gun stores, for example, that have not increased their prices and they did not take advantage of the lifting of the ban, then you are helping us all. So thank you very much, everyone. And as I said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next update.